Hey everyone, it's Intel here. So in this video, we're gonna talk about something that I've been wanting to talk about for a while now in a video, and that is hand injuries and ergonomics in Minecraft PvP. Now, this is a topic that's really important, but it's also something that's seen a lot of debate in the Minecraft community ever since like five years ago even, where you have a lot of people who make completely arbitrary statements like how jitter clicking causes arthritis or how butterfly clicking is immune to hand problems. And for years now, there's been so much misguidance on this topic that needs to be addressed. So for the past few weeks now, I've been doing a ton of research on this topic, so not only only am I going to be debunking a lot of the myths that people have made up about associating different clicking methods with different hand injuries, but also showing you how to take care of yourself while you're PvPing and avoid any type of serious injuries that you could develop while clicking a certain way in Minecraft PvP. Make sure to watch this video till the end because guys, it's really really important to not put yourself at risk of any type of serious injury while you play. It's something that's honestly really overlooked and it's definitely something that a lot more people should be paying attention to. And also, please don't jump to any wrong conclusions and take any of what I say out of context context. This video isn't propaganda to get you to click a certain way, let me be clear. Any clicking method can be safe if you're doing it right, so don't take this video as a reason to change your clicking style. The last thing I want to say is that if you want to help support me, then you can check out my Lunar Cosmetics on the store. I'm getting a brand new cloak really, really soon, and I'm really excited to show you guys, and that should be up in a few days now. But with all of that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So let's start off with RSI. RSI, which stands for Repetitive Strain Injury, is defined as a general term used to describe the pain felt in muscles, nerves, and tendons caused by repetitive repetitive movement and overuse. It's a hand injury that's commonly found in PC gaming, with Minecraft PvP being no exception. RSI is caused by repetitive motion, so for example, butterfly clicking constantly for prolonged periods of time, that can cause RSI, despite what people say about butterfly clicking being immune to hand problems, which just isn't true. Now let me be clear, butterfly clicking isn't the only clicking method that can cause RSI, any clicking method can potentially cause it. So for example, jitter clicking could potentially cause it because of the repetition in vibrating hand spasms, and if you're constantly drag clicking, Clicking, and a good example would be god bridging on a bridge server for prolonged periods of time without taking any breaks, that could potentially cause RSI as well. So how do you know if you have RSI? Well, a few of the common symptoms are if your hand is hurting, you're feeling pain, or it's aching, or if you're feeling any tingliness or numbness, or any throbbing or cramps in your hand, those symptoms could potentially mean that you might have RSI. Now, RSI is likely not to be a long-term injury, but more of a short-term muscle injury. However, any tendon injuries where you keep re-injuring your hand over and over by doing the same movements that cause your pain can become chronic and you would have to treat it with anti-inflammatory medication or physical therapy. Now before you get completely freaked out about potentially getting RSI from PvPing, let me tell you that it's really easy to avoid. The best way to avoid it is to get in a habit of taking breaks between your gaming sessions. After playing a long Bed Wars game or queuing a super sweaty fight, instead of requeuing immediately, take a minute to relax and stretch. Stretching your wrist can also be really helpful, and if you want a guide of some really easy and effective stretches that you can do for your wrist, I made sure to leave a link in the description that will show you how to do some common wrist stretches, and I would highly recommend checking that out if you have the time. Also, make sure to drink lots of water, and if you're feeling any of the symptoms, like any pain or numbness in your hand, make sure to stop playing immediately and take a break. The best thing to do is to not overuse your hand, so if you're feeling any prolonged discomfort, that's a clear sign from your body that something's probably wrong. Another, albeit less common, hand injury that you can get from Minecraft PvP is Carpal Tunnel Syndrome, and you've probably heard of this. Carpal Tunnel Syndrome is defined as a numbness and tingliness in the hand and arm caused by a pinched nerve in your wrist. It occurs when the medium nerve, which passes through the inside middle of the wrist, becomes squeezed from certain movements. This nerve is responsible for providing sensation to your fingers, specifically your thumb, your index finger, your middle finger, and half of your ring finger. Carpal tunnel is pretty serious. It can take months to recover from, and in more serious cases, you may even need surgery. The biggest cause of carpal tunnel syndrome is poor wrist posture, and this is really easy to do in Minecraft PvP. Having a mouse grip where your wrist is constantly bent can cause carpal tunnel syndrome, so for example, I know that some people jitter click with their wrist bent way up in the air. This is actually really bad posture and can cause carpal tunnel syndrome. You want to try to keep your wrist flat with the rest of your arm and avoid bending it in any type of uncomfortable position. Some movements like flexing your wrist can also cause carpal tunnel syndrome, so it's important to observe if you're doing this while you're clicking your mouse. Another way you can potentially get carpal tunnel syndrome is through wide wrist movements while aiming your mouse. Now with jitter clicking, this typically doesn't happen that much because your wrist is usually locked up while you're jitter clicking, but if you're someone who's butterfly clicking on a really high sensitivity and you're relying off of your wrist to aim your mouse, this is definitely something that can potentially harm you. It's okay to make smaller movements with your wrist while aiming, for example making micro adjustments, but try to avoid making unnecessarily wide wrist movements that put your wrist at an uncomfortable position. Try to use your arm to aim, and you can lower your sensitivity if you need to, but keep your wrist movements minimal. The biggest symptom of carpal
carpal tunnel syndrome is that numbness in your fingers, which I mentioned earlier. You can also feel pain from carpal tunnel, but usually that isn't the main symptom. So if you're feeling any of these symptoms, then once again, it's really important to take a break, do some stretches, make sure that your hand posture isn't putting unnecessary strain on your wrist, and drink lots of water. One more thing I wanted to talk about are neck muscle injuries. Neck muscle injuries aren't exclusive to Minecraft PvP, this can happen to anyone with prolonged use of their computer, but I wanted to bring this up because while jitter clicking, it's likely that your neck might tense up with your arm. This was actually something that was happening to me while I was jitter clicking, and I didn't realize it at all until I looked into it. Constantly tensing up your neck can lead to cervical muscle strain, which can lead to neck and shoulder pain down the road. And in severe cases, this can also lead to chronic neck pain. So it's really important, not just while you're jitter clicking, but when you're at your computer setup in general, to be aware that your neck isn't constantly tensed up. If you're experiencing a lot of neck and shoulder pain while you're playing, or you're getting a lot of headaches, that's definitely a sign that you may have cervical muscle strain. One last thing I want to mention. I know a lot of people say that you can get arthritis from jitter clicking or through other clicking methods. That's just not true. Arthritis is a very extreme injury that you're not going to get from Minecraft PvP. It's usually something that takes a long time to develop, and it's something that you'll see in like construction workers who have been working with bad posture for like decades. There's no documented cases of anyone getting arthritis from Minecraft PvP, it's just completely stupid, and it's honestly just a massive meme at this point to say that jitter clicking causes arthritis. Okay, so to wrap up, the best way to keep yourself safe from any type of future injury is to have good posture, take frequent breaks, stretch, drink lots of water, and to stop if you have any symptoms that are pointing at any type of potential hand injury. There are risks that you can have with any type of clicking method, but that doesn't mean that those clicking methods aren't safe and that they're guaranteed to get you hand injuries. The main goal of this video was to make you guys aware of the potential hand injuries that you could get and how to prevent them before they start. And also to try to clear up a lot of the misinformation that exists on this topic because there's a ton of that out there. But anyways guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you found this video informative, I'd really appreciate it if you considered leaving a like. It really does mean a lot to me and additionally, if you have anything that you want to add when it comes to hand injuries or ergonomics, then make sure to leave a comment about it down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to help support me as a creator, then consider checking out my Lunar Client Cosmetics down in the description. Thank you guys for watching once again. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.